Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I'm pretty sure we found the legendary 7th Meteomancer. Hi? Are you... Don't come any closer! I can't control these winds! Don't worry, we're here to help. Who are you? I'm Fantax. I'm part of a group that's trying to save this world. Let me explain. I see. In that case, of course I'll help you. I am Bestal. My world is an advanced one, so I should be a lot of help in a fight. I'm afraid not. Oh, it's about time Fadoon started being a villain. After we were told that he was a villain. Master, why are you here? I tried to resist. When it shattered, I even hit the pieces so I could never be tempted again. But then you just brought it back to me again. I tried to get you away, but then Gellug brought it back. Okay, I know we're try talking about the amulet, but when did Gellug do that? I tried to stop, but it wouldn't leave me in peace. Now, it's too close. I must get the amulet back, and you, the seventh one, will be the key. Master, don't make us fight you. Who is this guy? My master I just told you about. Can you fight? Can I fight? I only had metal armor grafted to my skin. I only have a cybernetic claw. So... Yes? Yes. Good, I'll need your help. Wait right there while I try to figure out my team. So, new character, Bestal. You are at a suitably decent level. You are Wind Elemental. Oh, that reminds me. Um, let me think here. I forgot. Something, something, team, something. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about... What team I should have brought instead through that dungeon to make things easier? It occurs to me maybe the robot friend. Maybe those Gryphons would have been weak against fire. So maybe from now on, I'll be bringing along a team that guarantees that I'll have some sort of elemental advantage. Because, oh boy, not being able to take those Gryphons out fast enough. Oh boy. Anyway, you have wind shot, 120, 125 damage. Blow away is instant death. You have a max of 66 MP, and this costs 30. Instant death only has like a 1 in 3 chance of working, and that's assuming that the enemy doesn't have any resistance to status afflictions. So I don't know how luckily I'm going to use this. Especially with that cost. Warwind. Everyone gains an attack buff of 25. Meanwhile, you most certainly are going to have a burn. No, you're not. Surprising. What gear you got? You got the Honor Elm... Your cyber plate is definitely grafted into your body. You got a barbarian weapon and a cyber claw grafted into your body. I'm not entirely sure. Is there not a save point in here? I'm also kind of curious what would have happened had I tried walking into that portal before that cutscene. I'm going to kiss wind and heat. 
Oh yeah! BT Dubs! Bestal is dual wielding. That's gonna be nice. I'm assuming that I had no equipment that would have been good for Bestal. Okay. Your wind elemental. Your ice elemental. You got the fire attacks. I don't have the gear for you, though. I didn't get around to getting gear for these other two characters. Maybe I should have. Okay. We're bringing you for lightning element. These characters seem to all have the exact same dialogue. Regardless of whenever we have this party decision. So status afflictions might come in handy. In fact, considering how long it's been since my last save, I might be more inclined to use them. On that note, because it has been a while since my last save, Hopefully, the master is not weak against ice. Although, ice and wind are the same, I think? Yeah, ice and wind are actually the same element, so never mind. Hopefully, the, uh, the master is not weak against fire. So, your stats... You got the most health. You got the least amount of defense. Here, take a step back. That'll do. So I guess this portal don't do nothing. Okay, Lord Vyrith says ice is water elemental, wind, electricity, and Fantax's boomer attacks are all air elemental. So on this team, all I've got are air elemental attacks. Wish me luck. I'm sorry, Master, but it appears Solus was right. You can't be trusted with this power. It's apparently addicting like a drug. Um? Well... I don't think I'm gonna cause a whole lot of damage with my wind elemental attacks. Okay, just in case, everybody get some agility. I guess we'll attack the tornadoes so that we have less things attacking us. Can we paralyze a tornado? Yes, we can. Oh, boy. Uh... Well, I don't know what that call tornado was. Revive? Maybe it's to revive the tornadoes if I were to kill them. In which case, focus on Fadoon. I should get some buffs in.
Let's confuse the tornado. And speaking of buffs. Okay, so Fadoom put up a thing to reflect magic, it looked like. So don't be doing magic on Fadoom. Continue doing this. Maybe get a heal on Fantax. that we're actually having to worry about magic damage. Keep using Warwind. Keep using it until you can't. And heal everybody. No. Dang it. There goes all of Zeratic's attack puffs. I mean... Glybethal still has them, but... Oi. Start taking advantage of them. Also, maybe get some dispels in there. Yeah, I probably want to do that. Oh, each weapon hits twice! That'll be coming in handy. Okay, we need some more agility boost. Big ol' heal. You would actually be com good to confuse. No. Dispel. Get rid of those attack buffs. Like, hurry! Do it faster! One more for good measure. Throw a magic stone on yourself. I doubt that's going to cause a lot of damage. Hmm. Oh! What? Uh, why? Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Why was that causing a little damage, though? Wait, hold on a sec. I just thought of something. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Did my dispel negate my buffs as well? If so, that's that's kind of lame. Well, 
what am I looking for? I'm looking for the rod. Where's my rods? There it is. 25 damage ain't much, but... Well, every little bit helped. And it, it's certainly better than zero damage. The tornadoes are just really fast, it seems. Can't use the frigid one more than once per turn. Here, let's negate your t attack buff. Also, that one. That also does it. Alright, new spell force fantax. What? What? No, have I done it again? Master? I'm sorry, Fantax. I must flee here before I lose it again. Dude, you're crazy. Is everyone alright? Yes. Yes. yes! Not for long. We, we need to... Well, first we need a door, and then we needed to put a lock on that door. Hello, Runt. Herald King, can't you see that Solos? Of course! I realized who he was years ago. I just don't care. He's still the most powerful ruler in the world. Now, to kill you, steal your powers, and use them to finally destroy the invaders! Incorrect. This time, we will be the destroyers. Why else would we create this chamber? Who dat? Now, six of you have gathered, and the last is near. We need only abduct him to complete the stone. With it, we may yet save this ungrateful world. Wait, how will you steal our powers to make the stone? When all are together, the process is automatic. It is draining, but simple. But what if one of us is no longer alive? For example... Master, why? Because he's evil, stupid! Nobody claim her power! It will vanish and appear at an important point to her, far, far away from here. No! Now I can take the rest of your powers with ease. What? No! Everyone hurry! Get out of here! Oh, was Solos the one going, what, no? Because Master Fadoon was using a wind spell on him? We need name tags. Yeah, because, uh, I thought the what, no, was, like, us. Like, no, we are being defeated. Anyway, so, are the aliens... Blue rocks? Master? Everyone, I'm sorry. I returned just as Solos killed Hiral King, and I realized what has happened to me. If we will allow it, 
I will help you destroy the stones now, once and for all. Of course, Master. Didn't you try that already? I mean, you tried throwing it into a portal, so... I don't know. It's just Fadun now. Wendy is the true master here, as are you. That's just great. Except how the hell do we do it? I have an idea. Solos was right. Almost. If we merge the stones again, we can destroy the aliens, as long as they are on the planet. But the queen is connected to all the stones, so she'd just take it over. What if we merge the stones and attack the queen at the same time? That's just convoluted enough to work. Lord Rareth says, basically, the aliens captured everyone, Solas killed Hiroki, so her, her earthquake powers would be transferred away, preventing the aliens from recreating the amulet. The blue rocks were just part of the trap. There's not really a really obvious sprite for the aliens. What about the shadow character with the green coloring? So I'm guessing it was Hiralkim who was causing the earthquakes whenever we first met Solos. And he was like, crap, earthquakes. I'm leaving. Anyway, Marsh Stones, Tech Queen at the same time. That could work. She'd have to be pretty close to control the stone. So all we'd have to do is split the team. Half of us would go to Solos Tower, and the rest would go to the alien ship. Why Solos Tower? Okay, so the earthquakiness at the start of the game was because too many me Meteomancers in the same area. That makes sense. That's kind of been established here and there. When too many of us are together, our powers get out of control. Except for right here. Right now everything is hunky-dory. Anyway, I will lead the team against Solos. Oh, that's why we're going to Solos Tower. Because we haven't defeated him yet. I I'm, I'm, I'm paying some attention here. I I'm, I'm, I'm kind of catching things. I started this, so I must finish it. Fantax, you stop the aliens. But first, there is something you must do. Find and absorb Haral King's power? Yes. I'm sure you know where it is. We will wait for you at the inn. Good luck, Fantax.